Hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Hunter Call of the Wild. Now I think we have a mission here to uh, go to a certain person's camp. Oh, I'm here at, uh, I guess, a supply depot? Yeah, I ran across this first one, and uh, just sort of having a look about. Alright. Hunt with caution. I, I hope there's nobody else in these woods. <laughs> Not with me wandering around. Well, here's our catch. Sorry, catch. I just about swallowed me tongue there. Alright, so what have we got? Oh, these are locked. I see. Oh, I'm at the store, that's why. <laughs> Storage. Here's what I actually own. A little 243. Then we got uh, this fella here. Now, the only reason I'm packing a uh, a 12 gauge is because we do have bear to worry about. Now, the 357, it kinda, but yeah. The general rule around this part of the West Coast, anyway, is if you want something that's uh, reasonable to keep bear away, then this is probably what you want. Now, this is more of a, I think, a duck hunting type of thing, and the, the buckshot we've got sort of shows that. So I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't go with a slightly... Uh, upscale rifle maybe instead yeah. good with what we have. I wouldn't mind getting a little bit. Let's have a look at what we've got here for shotgun ammo. Do we have straight up slugs? Okay, we do, but they're locked. Alright. Yeah. Oh, here's slugs. Oh, 20 gauge. Ha! <laughs> yeah. That's what I want against a bear, let me tell you. How are we doing in arrows? Let's see, I currently have these, just for rabbit. Um, you know, you get something up this range, you can start getting into uh, much bigger. Well, there we go. Hmm, interesting. All right, I think I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to run with what we've got for the moment, I think. So, let's have a look at El Mwapo and figure out where we're going. Is this, uh, no. That's the lookout point. Where is Hope's Camp? Travel to Hope's Camp. Belmont Outpost. Undiscovered. Huh. Let's go to our missions here for a moment. Okay, it doesn't seem to matter if I click on it or whatever, so... Alright. I really would have thought there was a way there that they would have shown it on the map. But they kind of don't, do they? So how am I supposed to know where I want to go? Point of interest. Hmm. 
Yeah, mission hint. That's what I'm looking for. Why do I not see that anywhere? Oh, there. Now all of a sudden it has showed it up. Okie dokie. Well, let us place a waypoint and be on our merry way. It's off that way. Ooh. Something making beaky noises? What was going on there? Alright, now let's see where I've got things. So that's on one. Two has got the shoddy. Three. Alright. Oh, yes. Very nice. Four. The binox. Okay, six. Alright, seven. Huh, okay. Not sure that that's exactly what I want. Let's have a look here. Uh, row deer collar on five. Okay. Let's put that there. And... What have I got? We got the deer. Now we'll try this. Don't have the uh, antler rubby one. Oh well. So binoculars on four? Cool. Let's just have ourselves a quick look down the hill. You know, I spotted some tracks earlier, close to where you're at right now. I'll send the coordinates. You will, will ya? Alright. So I had a skill point. I spent it on, uh, the tracking section. So, it's supposed to allow us to, uh, get a little bit more accurate information. So what was he going to send us? Oh, I guess way up here, eh? A hunting opportunity. Hmm. Well, I get a feeling from where we're going, we'll probably find our own hunting opportunities, as it were. Looks like there's a lot of lake land and wetlands and such down there, and that's usually not a bad spot, depending on what time of day it is. Is anything here tell me time of day? Not particularly, eh? Uh, ah, 10.26. I assume that would be the time of day? Excellent. I don't know if there's fall damage, but I'm going to watch my footing here. And I know... Mating call. Coyotes, eh? Hmm. Alright, interesting. Interesting. Oh, there's something just a hundred meters this way. Let's go see what it is. It's almost a kilometer to that area we're trying to get to anyway. We might as well try and uh, throw in a little bit of slaughtering of innocent animals while we're on our way there. I mean, no point wasting the day, right? Hmm. And coyotes are up on the other side of the buildings we just left. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
getting a little bit quieter stuff here in the grass. Oop, there we go, back into the crunchies. <coughs> Making a little bit of noise, but it shouldn't be too bad. I don't see any tracks or anything like that around, so... No signs of droppings and such. Oh, finally, we're actually going to come out here where we can see a bit of the lake, eh? Okay? Oh. We're also closing, apparently, on some pre-recorded tracks. Let's have a look out of there and... Just see if, uh... Ah. Well, I don't see anything. What the heck? Oh, I must have climbed up on that log. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm getting taller. I don't remember standing up. All right, here we go. It's uh, if I, I uh, you guys might have seen the other day, I checked out the uh, the release version of uh, Farmer's Dynasty, and uh, for the little bit of time I put into it, and the issues. I mean, the main issues were controller issues. I never even got to get into the part where it had bugs, but. Um, I did report what happened with the controller and etc. And you know you need to be able to select between them. And what is that? That's different. Huh. Um. And I thought I would subscribe to the discussion just in case the devs answered, which they didn't. But the funny thing is, oh my God, the amount of bug reports that are pouring in on that. It's just every time I open Steam in the morning or whenever I come on to do a recording or play a game or whatever, it's, you know, oh, there's five new messages, and they're all for that forum. <laughs> so, yeah, I actually unsubscribed from it. So, well, what, uh, see, I don't want to come out of a crouch because those track things are not that far off. So, yeah, I think the, uh, it seems to be buggier after release than it actually was in the last, you know, testing thing. So what is this? That's a good pile of wood. Hello? Screechy bird thing? Hello? Alright. So what do we do here? Build cost twenty one hundred dollars. Wow. Well, I do have some money. Um. I think. Whoa! I thought I'd have to like hold it or so. Oh, a hunting structure, and I leveled up. Oh, well, maybe that was worth it then. E to enter. All right. Stand up, dude. Ooh, I see. It's a little hunting line, eh? Hmm. Oh yeah, and there was tracks just 51 meters that way. Alright. Let's grab out the binox. put us down below again then, right? It does indeed. Alright. Very cool. Oh. I have... Uh, 
Skills. Yes. Well, I don't want to reset them. I have a skill point to spend. So, yeah, this is what I put it in. Locate track. More accurate and on the map. Increases the distance that they're visible. Cone is now narrower. It can be tracked even further away. That just seems to be a really good place to start. What's this? Gender. Animal group size. Approximate weight. Okay. Fifteen percent increase in health. Oh, I guess that's some uh, anti woofing proof, eh? All right, I'm gonna actually put another point into this. So, oh, zero skill points available. What? Oh, perk point. Oh, I thought I had a skill point. I'm sorry, I have a perk point. So, muscle memory. Are you ready your next shot without leaving aim mode? Oh, okay. That's it, right? This is sort of a, a one-lane highway, this one? Alright, well. Okie dokie then, I guess. What the heck is this going on with? Huh. All right, well, there you go. Okay, we still get $1,300 apparently as well. So, let's uh, carry on. It's quite the wind blowing. Luckily, uh, right into our face and away from whatever we're heading toward, which is always a happy, happy thing. So what sort of tracks? <coughs> Not used to deciduous forests. mainly coniferous in the area that I live, that's for sure. I mean, I see some up ahead. But, uh, yeah. Even down the valleys here, you're, you'll find a few alder and uh, a bit of cottonwood. And there is certainly oak and maple. Oh, there we go. There is some tracks. Eh? But uh, predominantly, it's going to be fir, cedar, that sort of thing. With usually a very dense undergrowth. Oh, okay. Tracks by the Bazilianos, eh? Alrighty. Hmm. I noticed you're after moose. Not really. Tough animals, I tell ya. Be sure to bring the right caliber weapon to bring them down. Yeah, no, oh, no. And while their eyesight ain't too good, their smell is. Yeah, I don't so want keep your scent and Book the off. wind in mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm not in particular after moose, thanks anyway. Huh. Well, hopefully this takes us something else, because this is sort of more the direction we want to be going anyways. I don't want moose, man. I don't have a big enough caliber. This is not going to drop moose. Not reasonable. Where did that come from? Huh. Weird. Oh, coyote. You'll find coyotes all over the reserve, so they're not the most difficult to hunt. They're pack animals, so they respond well to collars, but they can also get aggressive when alerted. So be careful. Okay.
What do we got up here? It's had some uh, rather interesting encounters with coyotes in real life. I used to walk to uh, work down in Surrey walk along the railroad tracks sort of up around the edge of the city much quicker but uh yeah whoa what the heck oh that's a bear i don't think this is really a big enough caliber i think this will get me killed Just sitting there. It's bleeding, so that's a hit. Follow the blood trail to find it. Shouldn't have gone far. Yeah, I was hoping to snap the spine, but let's see what we've done. Well, vital organ. Let's hope he keeps running. to find another blood spatter. Bleed rate low. Hmm. There we go. starting to shut down. There we go. Female black bear. Broke the front shoulder and went through the lung. Jeez. Alright. That's a trivial. Quick kill bonus? Nothing, eh? Integrity, consecutive harvest score. Okay. And a thousand bucks. Alright. Alright, let's make sure we're tapped up just in case a pack of coyotes comes a tearing after us or something. Let's head out. Alright, well that was kind of random. Whoop. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> so they've seen me. Because my scent's going the other way, so they didn't smell me, they actually saw me. Now if they're that close... As I mentioned, when I was having encounters with coyotes, I actually had a uh, hybrid wolf with me. <laughs> yeah, believe me, I felt a lot more comfortable having a wolf at my side than I do at the moment. Although I'm sure Dexter would run in and rescue me, but... Oh, man. All right. Well, there's no reason for a coyote to come after us unless we corner it, to be honest with you. So... Let's just uh, get out of their range. I kind of wanted to get down by the lake here and have a little look. I 
And a lot of our sound should, uh, no, I was going to say be dampened by the rain, but either the overhead cover has lessened it or, oh, look at that. There's a bridge way off in the background there. Very cool. The game is absolutely gorgeous. I gotta give it that. You know, and I'm getting a pretty nice solid you know, 68 to 70 frame most of the time. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm really glad I upgraded my graphics card. Alright, she's raining pretty uh, super duper at the moment. <laughs> Holy cow, man. No, I think it's passing. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's too much out here at the water's edge. I hope I'm not on the wrong side of this lake for too long. So it looks like where we're heading is on the other side. Some ducks. Hmm. Hmm. He's just thought I just caught something up there in the distance. Not a lot of choice, they're uh, kind of in our way. So, yeah, I would think being coyotes, they would just simply back off or at least keep their distance, you know. Even if they end up flanking you and following you, they usually just keep their distance. I don't think they really look on it as being a food source. But yeah, you don't want to. Uh, Take a shot at one. I don't think you want to end up. Sun's coming out, wounding one and uh, having it go aggressive and come at you, because then you got the whole pack coming at you. What is that? Come on, give me my binoculars, quick. Something big was going through there. There it is. Oh, that's another bear. Uh oh. Hmm. Well, I think we've done enough harm to the bear populace for the day, you know that? not be greedy. It's not like we're trying to drain the swamp here. We're just trying to get a drink of water. Ooh. 
Little buggers, eh? You sure do sound close. There they are. Moving up across the ridge really quickly. Alright, well that's fine. Like I said, I didn't figure they'd try and head toward us. I do worry that bear might come up behind us. But luckily our smell should be going out over the lake. The only ones we're going to be concerning are those ducks, and I doubt they'll worry about it. Hmm. Well, it looks like that bear might be all we take for today's hunt, guys. Still, not bad. Not bad. Well, here's a good vantage point for the lake, eh? Whoop! <laughs> and we're up to our knees in it. Alrighty. <laughs> Dang. Splish, splash. Oh, well, now we have... No, don't worry. I'm not going to shoot the eagle or whatever the heck it is. Sounds more like a hawk, actually. Anyway, guys, I guess I should wrap up the episode. Um, thanks very much for the support on the first one. Everybody said you wanted to see more. I don't think it's going to make the best of television, but, uh, well, obviously, what the heck do I know about it? Look how long I've been on YouTube, and look how ruddy my channel does. <laughs> oh, it is amateur hour every second of the day, let me tell you. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the ride. If you did, well, let me know. Oh, hey, tracks. Interesting. I'm going to end it here. And we will follow these tracks the next time. Maybe. Depending what they are. What are they? Let's have a look. Oh, that looks like a bear. Yep, yeah, that's a bear. Hmm. Alright. Anyway. Yeah. I'm following that. I'm going right into... Yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm going to head up and around that way. Otherwise, we're going right into the trail of the bear with our scent ahead of us. So, till next time, do take care of each other, folks. This has been Species 7 for Hunter Call of the Wild. Ciao for now.